Welcome back to Dell Technologies World 2021, the virtual version. My name is Dave Vellante and this is theCUBE. I'm pleased to welcome Bill Wavro, who's the president and GM Dell Financial Services at Dell Technologies. Bill, great to see you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks Dave. It's really great to be here with you. So we heard in Allison Dew's keynote, uh, Dell Technologies all in on as a service, Apex. She's the executive lead, so really passionate about that. Talk about DFS in that context. You've always had a way to help people, you know, shift CapEx to OpEx, but what's your specific role regarding Apex? Yeah, well, well thanks Dave. Look, we're really excited about Apex at DFS. You know, we think Apex Solutions gives customers access to the broadest range of infrastructure solutions in the industry. You know, if you combine that with the Dell Technologies portfolio of ISG technology and solutions, that's a great combination for customers. But you know, you asked about DFS and at DFS, we've been delivering consumption solutions for over 15 years. So taking a, you know, a look at the Apex portfolio, you could broadly divide it into two categories, turnkey, Apex turnkey solutions like data storage services, and then Apex custom solutions like data center utility and flex on demand. And those custom solutions are where DFS plays. And as I said, you know, we've been offering those for over 15 years. We have a lot of experience with customers, what customers are looking for. We have tens of thousands of assets out there today with hundreds of customers that are being metered on a regular basis that we're billing monthly. So we're getting a lot of feedback from customers. And I think the Apex Solutions announcements that you heard here at Dell Technologies World are a further expansion of that. They're built, built on the backbone of what DFS has been delivering for a long time. So we've taken, I think, the best of those solutions and we've listened to customers. What are they looking for? What do they want? And we've got even new and improved offerings in the current announcement that we made. So, you know, I think when you talk to customers, they want a couple of things. They want simplicity. They want to be able to understand how they're going to acquire it and how those payment solutions work. And they want choice. And I think the Apex Solutions gives customers both of those things. And, and the good news is, you know, they're available on all sorts of ISG hardware, be it servers, storage, hyper-converged, converged infrastructures. Customers can choose what technology they're looking for and they can create their own demand environment. And the last thing I'll do is a little plug for DFS. You know, we've been in the payment solution business for over 25 years. So we not only offer consumption solutions, but we offer traditional leases and financing. And so when you add all that together and you go talk to a customer about technology and how they want to pay for it, we think we've got the broadest range in the industry and we're really proud of that. Okay, cool. So you got two, the two areas that you simplified it, which is great. Uh, you got the standard off the shelf and then you got the custom solutions. The standard stuff is like console, data storage, and then cloud services that breaks down even further. And then the, the custom, I got my notes, Apex Flex on Demand and Apex Data Center Utility. How do Apex custom solutions differ from those turnkey offerings? Yeah, well, the beautiful thing about Apex is it gives customers choice. So as you mentioned, you have turnkey. So if you think data storage services, that's one of our new turnkey type offerings. And those turnkey offerings are outcome-based. So think about it as an outcome. What is a customer looking for? Do they want file versus block storage? What sort of capacity do they need? Uh, what performance level are they looking for? But it's thinking of those outcomes and Dell technology is going to take care of the rest, right? A customer can go to the Apex console they can review those choices. They can make their selections and then they can turn it over to Dell and we'll deploy that technology. We'll manage it, we'll upgrade it and we'll service it over the life of the term. So the customer can focus on outcomes versus on acquiring and managing technology. So that's the turnkey solution. And that's probably the, the biggest and, and newest part of our announcement of Apex solutions. And then we have the custom. Uh, the custom, as you mentioned, you know, data center utility flex on demand. That's what DFS has been delivering for many years now. And, and that's for a customer uh, who wants to select the product. So think of it as a product-based solution where a customer wants to select the technology, they may want to manage it themselves. They may want to have a partner manage it. They may want to include different services. So they're able to put that together in a custom way and satisfy whatever 
problem they're trying to solve. So we found that, you know, many customers are going to want to select that custom solution because they're in some a part of their data transformation journey where they still want to control some of the technology and others will want to go the turnkey route. So again, it kind of goes back to the customer choice and allowing them to acquire it the way that they want to acquire it. Okay, so like an example might be, I'm just making this up. I'm a financial institution. I'm a big VMAX customer. I got some kind of special process that I use that I wrote that gives me competitive differentiation because I can get in a millisecond faster than my competitor, speed a lot or whatever. And I want that. I'm not going to take, that's not part of your turnkey solution, but that's part of my value add. I want that, but I want your help in sort of customizing that and, and making it as a service. Is that like a reasonable example? That, that's, a, that's a great example. And so, you know, let, let me talk about that a little bit. So let me give you a couple of, of examples of the use cases and what the products provide. So think about, let's talk about data center utility first, because when you think of data center utility, think data center, right? These are large deployments. Uh, they're, they're big customers. They, they're most likely a global customer and they want to get out of the data center business, right? They want to get out of the day-to-day -day management of that and be able to focus on, hey, how do we, as, a, as, a, as I, as a CIO, deliver value to my business? I, I want to make a difference in that business strategy. You know, CIOs more and more being asked to help the business and enable that business strategy. And so many of them want to get out of the data center management business. And this is where the data center utility product can come in. It allows us to go in as Dell and help that customer manage that data center. So it has the most flexibility in terms of, you know, custom billing, custom reporting, very low, if any, minimum commitments. And one of the best features is we have a delivery manager who's assigned to every account who can help, you know, that customer procure assets, uh, manage assets, a deal with capacity management. So we really can take over the management of that data center and allow the customer's IT group to focus on delivering value to the business. So we think that's a really important aspect of it. And it allows us to manage even existing assets that are sitting out at the customer as well as new purchases. And then it, back to the kind of the example that you gave, you know, where a customer really wants that high performance, they have specific hardware in mind, they can also use a flex on demand type product. So the, the customer is able to pick the hardware, whether it be server storage, um, you know, converged infrastructure, hyper converged, and they can select the technology that they want to use. Um, they can sign up for a very flexible period of time. So they can go from one year to five years. You know, they may only need this hardware for a limited period of time. Maybe they're working on a, a project where they're going to need additional storage capacity for the next couple of years. So they can sign up for a two year contract if they want. They can sign up for the commitment level that they want to use. So, you know, one of the great things that customers are looking for is they want that cloud-like operating model. They want to pay for the technology as they utilize it. Um, and they don't want to be locked in uh, to, to having to purchase a large amount of data if they, potentially they're not going to use it. So Flex On Demand gives them that flexibility. They can sign up for 50% uh, of a storage array's capacity and only pay for usage above and beyond that 50%. So it offers customers a lot of choice and a lot of ability to get the technology they want um, and, and be a very flexible utilization method as they go forward. So I don't think a lot of people realize that. You said very low or no minimum commitments. Uh, and so maybe you could explain that a little bit and, and who owns yeah. the asset? Well, you know, every when, when we talk about flex on demand, it is still owned by Dell. So Dell, you know, owns that asset and the customer can commit. I mean, we, we think we have the broadest range of commitment levels in the industry. So if you think about a flex on demand type offering and let's say you want to purchase a storage array, you can sign up for a 50% minimum commitment. So again, you've got flexibility on the term, so you can go one to five years. You can sign up for 50% commitment. So you're going to get a bill for 50% of, of that storage usage every month, but you're not going to get a bill for anything more unless you utilize it. Now, let's say one month you go to 60%, right? So you're going to pay that extra 10% only when you use it. If you go back down to 50% the following month, you don't pay. And, and let, me, let me point something out on this because I think this is where we differ from a lot of our competition. The rate you pay is the same. 
So it's the same for the minimum commitment level of 50% as it is for the incremental 10% or 20% that you use above that. Some of our competitors have surge pricing. So basically, once you go above your commitment, you're paying a premium. We don't do that. We've heard from customers they don't like that. They want it simple. They want to pay one rate per gigabyte throughout the life of that contract. And so we do that. Another unique feature, which we kind of just implemented recently, is that the max that you can pay is 85% on that storage usage. So if you sign up for a 50% minimum commitment, and let's say you use 90% of it, so you've got a pretty significant increase off your minimum, we will only charge you up to 85%. And that's a new feature uh, that we added to all our Flex On Demand products recently for future customers as well as previous customers. So we've actually gone back to all our current customers and said, this applies to you, even though that wasn't part of the original offering, we're gonna cap you at that 85% level. And the reason we did that is because while customers love pay for things as they use them, they're a little uncomfortable on uncertainty of maybe paying too much, right? So we put this in to help protect customers that they wouldn't have to worry uh, about paying you know, more than they expected to. So we think that's a, a pretty cool feature of what we offer. Yeah, so to summarize the features, I got the portfolio, I got the whole portfolio I have access to. I got the flexibility that you just described in great detail and then pricing transparency or, or certainty. And then, the, and then the other piece of that is the value, the 85% cap. So yeah. that, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you, you've been doing this for a while. You, got, you have data and experience with, with, with real customers, with mm -hmm. different types of custom solutions. M maybe you could share some of the, the, the business impacts and benefits that customers have seen. Yeah, well, let me give you an example. So data center utility, like we had a large multinational manufacturer who, again, as I mentioned earlier, they wanted to get out of the data center environment. They had a, they don't want to manage that anymore. They had a complex data center. Um, it was managed with about 50% of, of their own internal uh, IT department and 50% with a third party service provider. They had multiple hardware vendors, multiple third parties providing services. It was very, very complex. So they came to Dell Technologies. We took that data center, put it into a data center utility contract, and we took over management of the data center. So it freed up those, that 50% of their own IT staff to work on other things that provided value to the business. And then we were able to take that, consolidate vendors, make it a lot simpler, and improve the efficiency of the data center. And, that, and that's an important thing. So it's not just about how you pay for it, that you pay for it in a variable manner. It's how efficient can you make that data center. And no one knows Dell Technologies assets and hardware better than us, right? So we were able to create tremendous value by utilizing those assets more efficiently. So they were getting more productivity out of the underlying IT assets, we simplified it for them. And you know, we were able to take their team out of that day-to-day -day management, which is what they were looking for. So there's an, a, a great example of you know, a win-win on both sides. And what we found with these customers is once they go to this kind of model, they stay with it, they like it. And we actually end up expanding our relationship with these customers. So it's, it's good for us you know, in a lot of ways. And one of the things we didn't you know, talk about earlier, you know, is, is another benefit that maybe isn't so obvious, you know, particularly when you look at a flex on demand type product. So, so let's think about flex on demand. You know, one of the things customers are struggling with is how to predict how much data storage they're going to need in the future. You know, there's this huge data explosion going on in the world. We've talked about that many times and CIOs often have trouble trying to predict how much capacity they're going to need in the future, right? They don't know exactly where it's going to go. And so one of the struggles that they have is when they have a need for that data, it takes time to get it available. So if you think about a CIO that all of a sudden has additional capacity they need to add to their infrastructure, it could take 90 days to get that out on the floor. You know, they've got to go through their internal requisition process. They've got to select a vendor. They've got to acquire the hardware, get it all set up. This all takes time. 90 days later is too late. One of the things that Flex On Demand offers is that you're able to get that capacity on the floor. And at the push of the button, you can have it up and running. So you're not paying for it until you use it. But once you do need it, you can have it available really quickly. And that's one of the benefits that 
maybe people don't expect when they, they use this flex on demand product, but provides tremendous value for customers. So we've seen that kind of time and time again with flex on demand. We had a, a large pharmaceutical customer who, you know, went to one of these, uh, had a mandate that they wanted to go to a cloud operating model for all, all their IT purchases. So they wanted to free up cash flow. That was kind of a directive from the top, you know, free up cash flow, let's get out of the CapEx business. And flex on demand was a perfect answer to that because it freed up the cash flow. They paid for the technology over time. Um, and they were able to have this capacity available whenever they needed it. So, so, you know, we've seen that as a tremendous benefit of the custom flex on demand model. I've done a lot of TCO studies, Bill, and, and I'll tell you the, the, the upfront planning, the capacity planning, the asset management, uh, the procurement, these are a big chunk of the labor costs associated with, with total costs. Um, okay, so we got the turnkey with the three components. We got the custom with the two components. There was a, there was a fifth bucket in my notes here, which is the partners uh, in, the, in the channel. And I'm really interested in how the channel is transforming no longer can you just be a box seller in the channel. Those days are gone. Made a lot of money doing that, you know, yeah. good deal. But now you got to add value. Uh, the cloud has really changed everything there. So it's all, and of course, as you know, it's all about the margin and profitability. So, so talk about the channel. You've always had relationships and how, how Apex fits with channel partners. Yeah, well, look, Dave, we've had great experience working with our partners. I mean, partners are hearing the same thing from customers that we're hearing. You know, they want a cloud-based type operating model. They want to pay for their technology as they use it. So partners are looking to provide the same value to customers. And we found that working with partners, you know, expands our reach tremendously and they have a lot of expertise. So the Apex Custom Solutions are designed to work with partners. Partners can either sell those themselves so they can sort of resell our solution to them, or they can just refer the business to us. And they're going to get a 20% you know, uplift on the committed contract value for those contracts. So, so this is you know, really financially attractive to our channel partners. And it allows us to work with those partners to get to more customers, right? And, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, these custom solutions can include services from the partners. So we can provide the hardware piece to them. Uh, they can add on their services on top of that and they can be the primary relationship with a customer, or again, they can refer it over to us. So we found that to be a really good value proposition for partners and we think, you know, they're pretty happy about it. I mean, we, we have an example, uh, Relate Care as a company that supports healthcare organizations around the world. Um, so helping, you know, with patient communication, appointment scheduling, telehealth, uh, which is a really big area right now, as you know, with the pandemic still going across the world, this is an area of tremendous growth. So Relate Care was working with one of our partners, ArcFire, and they needed more flexibility in the data center. And so these uh, Apex Flex on Demand was a perfect solution for that. It allowed them to deliver a secure, flexible data center, you know, and work with their partner to, you know, really improve the service level that was occurring in that relationship. And if you think about it, one of the things we didn't mention is particularly for a lot of healthcare companies and, and companies and customers who, you know, have a high sensitivity around data security and where that data resides. One of the advantages of on-prem solutions like Apex Flex On Demand or Data Center Utility is you know where your data is. You know, the public cloud can move the data around often without you knowing about it. And so that security, that assurance that you know exactly where your data is, is really important to a lot of our customers. So it's kind of another feature um, that is beneficial for customers. And again, we're seeing, you know, partners adopt this more and more. And I think, you know, over time that is going to continue to grow. Yeah, so 20 points on the uplift plus additional services that I can bring in because I got a tighter relationship. You know, in this model, right, the, 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 the renewal starts when you sign the contract. So it's, it's a much, much deeper relationship. Can the partners, do they, do they, can they white label the service? Is it co-branded? Is it all Dell branded? Yeah, well, they have the choice. I mean, the partner can, can actually take on the billing and relationship primarily if that's what they would like to do. And again, so, th so that's one of the offerings or they can refer it to us. You know, many partners don't make, they don't have the back end of the infrastructure to do all that billing and collecting themselves. So they prefer just to refer it to us. Other partners are large. They do have those capabilities. 
and, and they want to take on the primary relationship. So we can work with them both ways and we have worked with them both ways. Nice. Uh, we're out of time, Bill, but give us the bottom line. You, you, you touched on some of this, but why Apex over the competition? Yeah, well, look, I think it goes back. The first thing is, is Dell Technologies, right? We, Dell Technologies has the broadest selection of products and services in the industry. So you combine that with Apex Solutions, you've got a win-win. It's unbeatable in my opinion. We also, I think, have the, the, the best range of flexibility in those payment solutions. So you can go from a minimum commitment of 40%, you know, all the way up to 85%. You can go one to five years. You know, no surcharges, right? The rate is the rate. The rate goes from the minimum all the way to the maximum. We have the storage cap that I talked about, HCI cap at 85%. So you're going to be capped. So you don't have unexpected costs that you didn't, you didn't forecast. And you can flex up and down, right? So you flex up, you can flex down. Some of our competition, once you flex up, you can't flex back down. And that's, that's a real uh, negative in my opinion. And we've got 15 years of experience of doing this. So, so that's really important. You know, we work with a lot of customers. We've learned a lot during those journeys and we think we're the best equipped uh, to provide you with consumption solutions and as a service solutions that, that really work for customers. Financial flexibility, asset management, uh, the, the really key part of IT that we don't spend enough time talking about. Bill, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE and sharing your insights. Hey, thanks Dave, really glad to be here, thank you. All right, and thank you for watching everybody. This is Dave Vellante for theCUBE's continuous coverage of Dell Tech World 2021, the virtual edition. We'll be right back right after this short break.